Manchester City have been banned from the Champions League for the next two seasons for breaking financial fair play rules. Europe's football governing body, UEFA, have also fined the club £25 million. Pounds. Well, our sports presenter, Nick Tonight Tonight's Stan Deer still talking, as we always do, because it's habit about the top four. Well, after the news this evening, perhaps we need to be talking about the top five because as things stand and this is subject to appeal Manchester City and the news broke only about 20 minutes ago have been banned from UEFA competitions for the next two seasons this is the strong statement from UEFA I mean it's some announcement it sent shockwaves through the game the adjudicatory chamber has imposed disciplinary measures on Manchester City Football Club directing that it should be excluded from participation in UEFA club competitions in the next two seasons which is obviously next season and the following and a fine of 30 million euros, which is about 25 million pounds. Look, Paul, I'll come to you first. I yes, mean, please do. This is big. This is big oh, news. That's absolutely massive. I mean, we were shocked when we heard it, weren't we? I mean, you talk about a club like the size of Manchester City. You know, we know how, you know, he wants to win the Champions League. It's something that's eluded them for a few many years now. So to be maybe kicked out for two years, I would say, listen, we know City are going to appeal against it. Uh, but it's massive, massive news, Jake. OK, well, I've, um, I've got the Manchester City statement from a few moments ago. They've responded just in the last few minutes and they've said, as part of their statement, they've said in December 2018, the UEFA chief investigator publicly previewed the outcome and sanction he intended to be delivered to Manchester City. They go on to say subsequent flawed and consistently leaked UEFA process he oversaw has meant there was little doubt in the result that he would deliver. They've also said at the end, simply put, this is a case initiated by UEFA, prosecuted by UEFA and judged by UEFA. With this prejudicial process now over, the club will pursue an impartial judgment as quickly as possible and will therefore, in the first instance, commence proceedings with the Court of Arbitration for Sport at the earliest opportunity. So let's just be totally clear, Robbie. Manchester City, as you would expect, are going to appeal against this. Yeah, they are, yeah, but it's, it's incredible news, isn't it? You know, like what Paul was saying there, it's, we were in the Winnebago, you know, when the news come through and we were all in shock. We couldn't believe it. A two-year ban for, for Man City, a trophy that's eluded Pep since he's been at Man City. So the emphasis is when it this year becomes even greater, you know, for, for Pep Guardiola and Manchester City. So let's talk about things as they are at the moment. Okay. If indeed this is a two-year ban, what do you think it means for Pep and his future? Uh, listen, I mean, listen, Man City are one of the biggest clubs in the world. You know, the best players want to go to the best clubs because they're in the Champions League. Don't they for the next two years? Are they going to have to get the best players? For Pep, as you just said, and Robbie said, they've got to win it this year. Because if they're not in it for the next two years, the question is one, what's Pep going to do? Two, you know, what players are they going to be able to track for the next couple of years coming up? <laughs> it's huge. It's, it's massive. You know, I'm sort of shocked by, by seeing that news, but. You know, they've got Real Madrid over two legs. That's going to be very difficult. We do know how well Real Madrid are doing. Um, and the big thing is, with Liverpool storming away with the Premier League, if this ban is, is, is upheld and it is a two-year ban, will Pep, you know, his contract runs out in 2020, will he stay? For me, I think he should stay because he will to regain that Premier League title. The emphasis this year will be winning the Champions League. You know, he's an unbelievable manager, so yes. it's huge news. And also, it impacts the Premier League as well. I mean, not, not least the club where we are this evening, Wolves. We can see how the table looks now. But in reality, Chelsea are a couple of points ahead of Sheffield United. So you can look at it and say, well, two points, how much of a difference is this going to make? But the, the league will come down to one or two points in terms of who makes it into what could now be the top five. And that's the reality here. Well, it could be the top five gets you into the Champions League. <laughs> a new thought when Ancelotti went to Everton, they are now, if it is fifth place, they're three or four points below the Champions League place with Sheffield United, who are doing unbelievable, well, are currently in. So that brings Manchester United, you say, Jake, Everton. You know, so Ancelotti would have never thought in his wildest dreams when he went to Everton that they could be in touching distance of a Champions League place if the ban is upheld. Well, I think it's I think a great thing about it is because obviously the way the title's gone this year, Liverpool have actually walked away with it. We've all been talking about the relegation situation. Now, all of a sudden, this allows now we're talking about eight teams who could actually get into the Champions League spot. It makes it more exciting. OK, so if you're just joining us and you haven't been across social media or the news, as it stands, Manchester City banned from UEFA competitions for the next two seasons, subject to appeal.